Are you in American Express jail? Do you have preset spending limits on your personal or business charge cards with Amex? Are you not getting approved for credit limit increases? And are you not getting approved for new cards? Well, if that is the case, my friend, you're probably in American Express jail. It's the worst. I've been there. I just broke free last week. I'm going to tell you how to get out of it yourself in this short video. Stay tuned. Welcome everybody back to the Radical Marketer YouTube channel where we teach you how to build credit, leverage credit, and create wealth. If it's your first time on my channel, I just want to give you a massive thank you for your time. I promise not to waste it, give you all stuff and no fluff. Uh, we make videos daily here at the channel, so smash that like button, punch that subscribe button, and knock out that bell notification button. And for all of you Radical Marketers that's been rocking with me, thank you so much for all of your support. Smash that like button, throw a comment in the comment section, let the, get this video taken off to the masses because somebody's in Amex jail and we got to set them free. And for all of you out there that are not in the private Facebook group, what are you waiting for? 3,500 members in that group, literally dropping gems daily. If you have a credit question, business credit question, any type of credit question, join the private Facebook group, get in there, participate, be an active member, and it's going to be an amazing gem for you in your life. Also, add me on Instagram because I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff on Instagram very soon, and you guys can send me your credit questions and all the updates and some crazy giveaways are going to be happening on Instagram, so you don't want to miss it. All right, guys, let's get into the video. But before I get into the video, I know a lot of you have been wondering, where the heck have you been for the last week? Well, there's a thing called the Michigan Weasels, the Michigan Wolverines up north, the state up north, and I'm still loyal to the soil. Uh, my Buckeyes lost a horrible, horrible, horrible game in Ann Arbor. And so I've been like depressed. And uh, so that's where I've been. But anyways, enough with the fluff. Back to the stuff. Let's get into the reason why I got into American Express Jail. In this video, I'm going to tell you how I got into it, what I did to get into it, how I broke out of it, and uh, where I'm at right now. So let's Let's go back. I've been an active member with Amex uh, since 2018. First card was the Platinum. Second card was the American Express Aspire card uh, with Hilton because I wanted the diamond status, right? So I've had a great relationship with Amex, right? So fast forward that for two years up to 2020. In uh, September, I'm sorry, in July of 2020, I started my company and I was like, all right, cool. I was trying to figure out the business game, get business credit cards. And so I called up Amex and they're like, yeah, you know, you should get the gold card, the business gold card, and you should get the uh, business uh, plus card. And so I was like, great, let's do it. So basically the rep told me there's no uh, preset spending limit on the business credit card right here. And uh, I got approved for uh, uh, $20,000 on the blue plus card. And then what I ended up doing is moving some of my limit from my Aspire card onto this blue plus card. So I had a $35,000 limit. So I'm feeling good, right? Just started a business, got an unlimited uh, preset spending limit, right? I'm going to use it for ads and get the business going, right? It's not going to report to my personal credit. I was like, great. Also, all of their business cards do not report to the personal credit, just so all of you guys know that, right? Um, which is key, okay? So I'm excited because I got my first business credit card, $35,000. I got a charge card, let's do this, let's rock out. Well, being stupid and not knowing what I know now, I ended up going to the dealership and I ended up saying, well, I wanna hit my minimum spend, so I'm going to put $5,000 on my down payment on an American Express card and buy my brand new Honda Civic SI, okay? Did that. Next day, went to the jewelry shop, jewelry store, and bought a very expensive item at a jewelry store, right? Next day, guess what happened? Put it in the comment section if you guys know what happened. And if all of you guys are in Amex jail, put I'm in Amex jail so I can give you some praying emojis or I can walk you through how to get out of it, okay? If you're not in Amex jail, hey, put, some, put a comment in the comment section because this needs to go out to somebody, all right? Basically, what had happened is I tried to hit my minimum spend by purchasing jewelry with this card and by using a down payment on, a, uh, on a, a car with this card, right? So hit the minimum spends, but guess what happened in the morning? I woke up to an email, the dreaded email of a manual review. They wanted my tax returns, all of that, right? Well, I provided everything to them and guess what they did? They slashed my $35,000 limit 
down to 4,000. And they smashed my no preset spending limit to 4,000. I'm grateful I got 8,000 on the business side that doesn't report to personal credit, but there's not much you can do in business with that much on these cards, right? So what had happened then um, is I called the reconsideration line, I called to the team, I spoke to management, nobody would help me out, right? Nobody would help me out. And so I literally was in Amex jail. I was ticked, I was pissed. And so I would use my gold card a lot, right, for the basic stuff because everybody knows MR points are worth a lot, but I'm, I'm ticked, right? Uh, I'm in Amex jail and I can't get out of it. I can't find a YouTube video. I can't find a thread on, on, on Reddit. I can't find anything, right, on this. Nobody's really talking about this. All they're like is you don't want a manual review. You don't want to be blacklisted, yada, yada, yada. So hopefully this video is inspiring you. Smash that like button right now. We need to get this video out to everybody. Everybody smash the like button. All right, so fast forward from 2020, August of 2020, to November of 2021, right? Last week, your boy just thought to do this. Well, number one, I had paid my annual fee on my gold card. I had tried several times to get the, the plum card, and I tried credit, credit limit increases. These cards were stuck, people. There was no credit limit increase happening on these cards whatsoever. I got bored, I got funny with it, and I just applied for the plum card. Boom, got it. I was like, yo, I got the plum card. So then you know what I did? I said, well, you know what? I'm gonna be traveling here soon, and I wanna start building back my relationship with Amex. Let's just see if I can get the business platinum card. Boom, got the business plat card. Same day, same day, people. Then I'm like, hmm, well, I'm at this business, Plum card is gonna help me with cash flow because I don't have a bill but every two months, right? And I just gotta make a minimum payment, which is nothing on the card, right? So every two months and then it's like 1.5% cash back uh, if, I, if I don't do the whole two months and I yada, yada, yada. I'll get into it in another video. You guys gotta watch my plum video while I got the plum card, right? So now I'm rocking with two cards. So now I have four Amex cards. I'm like, great, this is wonderful. And then I'm like, well, there's another sign on, a huge sign on bonus for the Hilton card. I'm like, boom, let's get it. Cause guess what? All three of these cards don't report to the personal credit. Then I had a brilliant idea. I said, man, I would love to have the green card because all of you haters out there that don't like the Amex green card is sleeping on it. The Amex green card, watch my video about why the Amex green card is probably one of the biggest sleeper cards on Amex. And I got the green card. I'm just waiting for the mailman to come, right? So then I said, well, I want to do this. Why don't I do this? So now I have four brand new cards with Amex. So I tried this. I tried to get a credit limit increase on this card. Denied. Okay, denied. So I said, hmm, if I can't get a credit limit increase on this card, let me try to transfer the credit limit from this card to my new business uh, Hilton card. Denied. Know why the denial was? Cannot transfer credit limit from a preset, a card that has a preset uh, spending limit on it. So basically, these two, char these two cards, I'm, I'm cracking the code, people. These two cards were flagged. There would never be a credit limit increase on them. It, it was what it was with these accounts. So I called up Amex. I said, I want to cancel it. And she's like, why? It's a great card. And it is a great card but I'm not gonna keep a card on my file that's flagged. I don't want any flags on my account. So I'm like, let me get rid of the, let me get rid of the amoeba, let me get rid of the virus that's gotta go. So they canceled the card, right? Now, I'm gonna keep this card open just because I paid the annual fee. I'm gonna end up probably canceling it soon and then reopening it with a business gold card with no spending limit after I've really built out the um, the profile with these three cards, right? Now, obviously, here's what I've learned, okay? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this to you guys in a nutshell and then we're gonna end the video because I got a ton of videos that I'm launching this month because it's Christmas time and you guys deserve it, right? But here's the thing. What I'm doing differently is I'm not buying anything with these cards at any high-risk merchant, 
I'm not jumping in with crazy. I'm using organic spend on these cards, people. Every single day, putting some spend. Coffee at a gas station, because God knows I'm a coffee fiend, right? All types of stuff. Little by little by little by little spend, right? And then I'm paying things off weekly to show Amex that I can handle the card limit. So I'm using organic spend and weekly payments on the card, even if it's not due, okay? I'm focusing on obviously the sign up bonus on the business platinum, which you guys know is 120,000 or 150,000 MR points, which is a lot, okay? And on the Hilton card, okay? When the green card comes in, I'll go after the green card too. I'm not really messing with it on the plum card just yet. This card, people, uh, is so underrated. You guys need to watch my plum videos on this channel. I did too. You know why it's underrated and then why I got it, okay? I'm not gonna go into it this video. We're gonna end this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Comment below if you're in Amex jail. Love to encourage you, help you out, okay? Join the private Facebook group. Throw a comment in the comment section. I don't care what it is. When YouTube sees that you like and comment on this video, they send it out to the masses. And guys, we're trying to hit 50,000 subscribers before the end of the year so we can do a massive giveaway, all right? So like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Salute.